According to the Population Reference Bureau, Africans are expected to make up 42% of the world's youth by 2030. And the continent's working age population will increase from 705 million in 2018 to over 1 billion in 2030. While it is estimated that 60% of the world's population over 65 will live in Asia by 2030, statistics show that the opposite is true for Africa. Africa is the continent with the youngest and fastest growing population, making it the continent with the most untapped talent worldwide. Simply put, anyone looking to find the next generation of the digital workforce should start focusing on Africa. As more and more countries invest in basic secondary and tertiary education, and with affordable and convenient internet connectivity, African tech talent is being trained, vetted, coordinated, and supervised to deliver on a range of tech tasks, from the most basic to the most sophisticated. Take Usiku Games, for example. They're training African youth to create socially impactful games. They built a 6,000 square foot shared community center and made it open to all of Kenya's independent and aspiring game developers to earn, share, and create. I absolutely believe that, uh, just as a personal philosophy, that talent and intelligence are equally distributed around the world, but opportunity is not. And so what we're trying to do is to create the opportunity for the people who are on the ground in Africa, who have the talent, have the intelligence, have the desire to build these amazing businesses and amazing games, um, and give them the tools to do that. And what we found is that if you give somebody a really powerful gaming PC with an NVIDIA GPU and Unreal 5 or Maya or, or 3DS Max or whatever tools it may be, they wind up being really on par with the developer anywhere else in the world. It, it becomes a, a huge leveler. What we're doing is unlocking the potential of the continent, of these what's going to be many thousands of creatives uh, around Africa who then are going to start creating truly world-class uh, games with the stories that this continent has had and celebrated for thousands of years but have never been told around the world and so that's what we're doing and we're unlocking that potential and I truly believe that the youth in Africa have just you know huge opportunities to build this industry. Africa is closely watched as the next big growth market a description that has persisted for a while. There are many reasons for optimism. The African continent is home to some of the youngest populations in the world it promises to be a major consumption market over the next three decades, and it's increasingly mobile phone enabled. The Harvard Business Review created a framework called the African Leapfrog Index, ALI, to evaluate the technological capabilities of African countries. Kenya and South Africa emerged as the more advanced countries technologically. Another indicator of the maturity of Africa's tech ecosystem is global tech firms, significantly increasing their presence on the continent. Microsoft, for instance, opened one of its two Africa Development Center, ADC, locations in Nairobi, Kenya, and is seeking to hire at least 450 full-time staff members. At Microsoft Africa Development Center, we are keen to drive dig digital skilling broadly in two ways. At the university level, partnering with the world of academia, how do we ensure that graduates are ready for the job market? How do we ensure that they have the required capabilities that once they hit the job market, already start creating an impact. Second one, we're working with industry players. Through the Microsoft Leap program, a 16-week immersive uh, session, we work with folks or individuals who already have basic technical skills, but they want to grow them even further. Be it, say, senior software engineers, do you want to grow further in gaming? Do you want to grow further in cloud? This way, so we train both individuals at Microsoft and also at industry level. For its forthcoming product development center in Nairobi, the company's first such location in Africa, Google stated it was hiring around 100 personnel.
These hubs are fueling the rise of digitally savvy young people who are every bit as trained and driven as workers any place else. This sends a positive message to the rest of the world that Africa, often referred to as the continent of the future, is making the efforts needed to compete with the rest of the world and create a brighter future for itself. What does Africa need in exchange for providing quality labor? Job opportunities, high quality opportunities to provide high quality work, not aid. At the Africa Digital Media Institute, we have for over 10 years been working to give Africa's creative and techies a platform to turn their passion into a profession. We do this by offering training, mentorship, and a platform for young people to create work for profit and for impact. Join us.